Hello dear students, welcome back to my science class. Today I am going to discuss with you a very interesting chapter that is sound. You are watching the channel Learn Science with Moon Moon Ma'am. Sound play a very important role in our day to day life. We can hear each other, we can talk, we can hear the music because of sound. In this video we will learn about how sound is generated, sound production by human, propagation of sound, speed of sound, properties of sound wave, noise and music, different musical instrument. I hope you will find this chapter very interesting and informative for you. So let's jump into the lesson. Production of sound. Sound is a form of energy produced by any kind of vibration. Sound plays an important part in our daily lives. It helps us to communicate with each other. We hear a wide variety of sounds in our surroundings. Some are soothing and pleasing to us and some are not at all. Sound is produced by a vibrating body. Vibration is to and fro or back and forth motion of an object. Example, if you strike a school bell, it vibrates and produces sound. If you pluck a stretched rubber band, it vibrates and produces sound. If you beat a drum, its stretched membrane vibrates and produces sound. So any kind of vibration produces sound. That means sound is produced by a vibrating body. Sound produced by human. How do we produce sound? In human, sound is produced by voice box or larynx. It is the upper part of the wind that is trachea. Windpipe is also known as trachea. Upper part of the windpipe, there is voice box that is also known as larynx. Two vocal cords stretched across the voice box leaves a narrow slit in between. So whenever air is forced from the lungs, it causes two vocal cords to vibrate and that produces sound. Propagation of sound. Sound requires a medium to propagate. We are talking from a corner of a room and another person sitting in the corner can hear us clearly. That means sound is reaching to him. That means sound is propagating. How do sound propagate? Sound requires a medium to propagate. Sound travels through solids, liquids and gases. So these are the medium through which sound can propagate. Sound does not travel in vacuum. Sound travels to the solid thread of a can telephone. A well listen to the reflected sound or echo in water to locate its prey. That means sound can travel through liquid. We are able to listen to sound because sound travels in air. In a classroom, whenever a teacher is talking and all of you can hear it just because sound travels in air. So simply sound needs a medium to propagate. See, sound travels faster by string of a solid than air or gas. This is another experiment to prove that sound can travel through liquid. If you ring the bell inside the water and keep your ear on the surface of the water, you can hear the sound. And simply that is to prove that sound can propagate through gas. Propagation of sound. Now, how do medium carries this sound and this is reaches up to us? This is important children try to understand. The sound produced by a vibrating object travels to a medium to listener. The medium can be solid, liquid or gas. Just now we have learnt about. When an object vibrates, the particles around the medium also vibrate. The particles in contact with the vibrating object is first displaced from its equilibrium position. 
it then exert a force on the adjacent particle and the adjacent particles are also displaced from its position of rest after displacing the adjacent particle the first particles come back to its original position i will explain to it this process repeats in the medium till the sound reaches the ear the disturbance produced by the vibrating body travels through the medium but the particles do not move forward themselves that means sound propagate in the form of a wave it do not take the particles present in the medium to move with it the particles remain at its own place and sound propagate just like wave a wave is a disturbance which moves to a medium by the vibration of the particles of the medium so sound is considered as a wave since sound waves are produced due to vibration of particles of the medium sound waves are called mechanical waves take a look at this whenever this tuning fork will vibrate it causes the medium surrounding air vibrate they will disturbed from its equilibrium position in turn they will make the adjacent particle to vibrate they will then come back to their resting position now adjacent particle will cause other particles to vibrate and then they will come back to the resting position this particle cause other to vibrate and they will come to the resting position this kind of alternating compression and rarefaction compression and rarefaction of the medium cause sound to propagate but the particles in the medium remain at their own place they do not leave the place and just sound in the form of a mechanical wave from the site of production reaches to our ear this picture is again going to give you a clear idea about propagation of sound wave you can see alternative compression and rarefaction in the medium help sound wave to propagate and reach up to our ear so sound travels in the form of a wave sound is a wave mechanical wave okay in the wave you can see the upper part is crest and this is the trough and this is wave length okay wave length and displacement of a particle from its mean position maximum displacement this is the amplitude we will discuss about this in the later part of the video speed of the sound see speed of the sound is highest in solid then liquid and least in gas this is uh, you can see that solid liquid and gases speed up sound is different and highest in solid but different solid medium speed up sound is different different liquid medium speed up sound is different and gases also okay and temperature also play a very important role okay and this is how we can measure the speed or velocity of sound v equal to f lambda where f is the frequency of the sound wave and lambda is the wavelength properties of sound vibration is the to and fro or back and forth motion of an object vibration is also called oscillatory motion the number of oscillation per second is called frequency the unit of frequency is hertz the time taken for one oscillation is called time period it is represented by letter t capital t equal to time period the si unit is second frequency and time period relationship frequency equal to 1 by time period f equal to 1 by t hertz periodic time or time period equal to 1 by frequency or t equal to 1 by f second see 
if we find this picture you can see this is a simple pendulum right a simple pendulum this is the metallic bob okay it is its mean position from its mean position it will start go to one extreme another extreme and coming back so this is one two and fourth movement okay that is the motion of a simple pendulum the maximum displacement of an oscillating body from its central position is called amplitude here if you see it is its mean position maximum displacement or extreme position here so ac or ab is the amplitude you can look at this then this is we have taken a uh, sound wave you can see the maximum displacement that is amplitude and one crest to another crest of the sound wave that is a complete wavelength measured by lambda one crest to another crest that is measured by lambda in a second how many wavelength to and fro movement is possible how many oscillation is possible that is its frequency if in 5 seconds or suppose if in 1 second 5 to and fro motion is completed that means its frequency is 5 hertz okay pitch and loudness the loudness of sound depends upon the amplitude of vibration okay if the amplitude is less sound is feeble if the amplitude is more sound is loud the unit of loudness is decibel the pitch of the sound shrillness or flatness depends upon the frequency of vibration if the frequency is less sound has a low pitch sound of a drum sound of an adult etc if the frequency is more sound as a high pitch sound of a whistle sound of a baby etc just compare the wavelength okay this is a quieter sound amplitude is less and this is a louder sound amplitude is more and low pitch frequency is less only one um, wavelength oscillation we can see and here you see high pitch frequency is more so high pitch sound that means amplitude determine the loudness and frequency determine the pitch of the sound noise and musical sound i hope you well understand the difference between noise and musical sound let's learn noise unpleasant sound are called noise it is produced by irregular or non periodic vibration if all students in a classroom speak together a noise is produced sounds produced by horns of buses and trucks irregular non periodic sound that is noise musical sound which is pleasing to the ear called musical sound it is produced by regular and periodic vibration sound produced by musical instrument sound of a person singing a song or a nightingale now here going to discuss about a few musical instruments production of sound by musical instrument depends on the type of the instrument specifically which part of the musical instrument is vibrating there are three types of instrument wood wind instrument string instrument and percussion instrument what are these wood wind instrument or simply you can tell them wind instrument wood wind is a type of musical instrument that make their sound when a musician blows air into or across the mouthpiece they get their name from the fact that most of them were once made of wood now not necessarily they are made up of wood but the previous time they are made up of wood so simply wood wind instrument whenever musician blows air into or across the mouthpiece they are known as wind instrument different wind instrument are there you can take example flute trumpet different examples are there just take a look at the wind instruments 
string instrument string instruments stringed instruments or chordophone are musical instrument that produce sound from vibrating strings when the performer plays or sounds the string in some manner violin viola guitar different uh, string instruments are there Percussion instrument. A percussion instrument is a musical instrument that is sounded by being struck or scrapped by a beater, including attached or enclosed beater or rattle struck, scrapped or rubbed by hand or struck again another similar instrument like drum, right? These are the percussion instruments, xylophone, drumsticks, beating on the drum and producing sound a membrane is there that vibrates do you know animals like dogs cats horses lion cow also produce sound by their vocal cord like human beings birds produce sound with a ring of cartilage called sirings in their windpipe Insects like mosquitoes and bees etc. produce sound by vibrating their wings rapidly. It's so irritating sound, right? Frogs produce sound by puffing their vocal sacs up their throat like a balloon while croaking. You might have seen it during the rainy season, right? So they're just puffing their vocal sacs to produce sound. Another interesting fact, the speed of sound in air is 330 meter per second. The speed of sound in air is 330 meter per second. The speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So you can understand speed of light is much more than sound. Speed of light is faster than speed of sound. That is why the thundering sounds are always heard a little after seeing the flash of lightning. But both lightning and thundering occur together. Delay in hearing is due to the difference in the speeds of sound and light. In our next video, we will learn about human ear, its structure, how we can hear sound and many other things. So stay tuned. Thank you.